Your thoughts on the representation. Stevie, <laughs> tell me. Um, yeah, prologue back in Mirandal, which is always hot, and but nice single trails there too. So I think it's a nice start or kick off for the Absa Cape Epic 2023. And uh, yeah, then we are heading towards Hermanus, which is normally a bit cooler. I mean, you yeah, also yeah. know. Yeah, I can't tell much about uh, yeah the prologue Meringal stage as I've never been there yet. But uh, Hermanus was uh, there were two stages in our very first uh, Cape Epic 2018 that I did, and normally you have like the misty waves. <laughs> but uh, I cooler. also remember the one year I've, I haven't been there where it was super hot in Hermanus. So yeah, we'll see how that one plays out. Yeah. And then I, I mean, after Hermanus, we go back to Oak Valley, the trails we, I would say we, we like to ride there. Yes. Uh, we trained there a lot in the previous years. And then was it a time trial? Yeah, Shoots time trial. Suit us quite well. Lots yeah. of trails on the fourth day, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that should suit us pretty well. Yeah. And then the transition stage to Lawrence Ford, we also... Grunenberg. Oh, <laughs> yeah, forget yeah. about that. Um, a big climb, hard one, loose gravel. Yeah, I only remember the descent very well because we went full gas <laughs> through the rocks. Yeah, I remember yeah. the uphill when yeah. I was suffering on the back wheel of Uwes. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, and yeah, then Lawrence Ford. I think Place that I don't know at yeah, all. Yeah, so. I'm also not sure. I mean, I did eight epics, but I'm not sure if I knew much about that route. But uh, yeah, it looks all, also fun. And then for sure, the last stage, always nice. To More or less, come yeah, the to finish line before, yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's also going to be one more hard day. Yeah, Mark's 70. Is hard, and as I said, the start will be very tough. Right yeah, from the gun up into the climb. But yes, all in all, I think it's quite an interesting route. Interesting some, route. Some some uh, parts that we should know already quite well. Some very new uh, features. Time trial in between. New prologue. I only did the one at Table Mountain so far. Yeah, long stages also. Long stages, yeah. Not really a, a short one in between. Time trial. We'll take time trial, but uh, <laughs> time trial is always special with a late start, yeah. breaking the rhythm, yeah. and um, yeah. But other than that, I like you said, it, it looks interesting, and I think we are looking forward to to race again. Definitely, or yeah, being back in back. South Africa. Yeah. Any thoughts on preparation? <laughs> Maybe we start tomorrow now. Yeah. Um, yeah, like like we said, it's difficult. We have the hot areas like Merendal and Merendal and Lawrence Fort, and uh, also like Hermanus, which is not that hot. But um, yeah, I mean, last year we were in a good shape in the yeah, early think, year, yeah. and so. We knew already quite well what we should do. Yeah, to yeah. Be ready. And I think once again it will be key to, yeah, to perform on a stable level over eight days, and also material choices will play a major role. But it's yeah, it won't be our first Cape Epic, so we. As a team, yes. As the new team. Sure. <laughs> but <laughs> but not as not, as not riders. As riders so. Yeah. So yeah. I think, um, yeah, it's consistency is once again going to be key. And um, for sure, with the long stages, also you need to focus on pacing and 
just uh, yeah, keep it smooth over eight days, and then you're gonna be in a very very good position, anyways. Like we did in October last yes. year. Yeah, make little mistakes. Yeah, keep it fun, suffer hard, <laughs> and then should be good. Yeah. So we are looking forward to return to the Absa Cape Epic in 2023 with our new team, Singa Racing Team. Yeah, and we wish everyone that's going to participate in the race best of luck and we're looking forward to see you all there.